In this Fusion 360 video, we'll be taking a look at how to edit T-Spline forms. As you can see, each T-Spline form has its own feature in the parametric timeline. I'll turn on the visibility of my first body, and I'll right-click on its feature in the timeline and select Edit. This will roll back in time and allow me to edit that T-Spline form. To directly manipulate some of the faces, edges, and vertices, I'll choose the Edit Form tool that's found under the Modify drop-down window and I'll just select one of these faces. You'll see the direct manipulator appear with an assortment of tools that we can use to modify our T-spine form. These individual arrows allow us to translate geometry in a single direction. I'll drag this arrow up to translate this face up by 30 millimeters. You'll see that the surrounding faces adjust to maintain continuity throughout the form. In addition to single axis translation, I can also translate geometry along a plane using these, any of these box manipulators. I'll click and hold on this one right here to translate the geometry about a plane. This is really useful as I can make sure that I move geometry in two directions but keep it intact in a single direction. In addition to translating faces, I can do the same thing for any edge or vertex. I'll choose this edge right here, and as you can see I can move it around along a plane or a single direction. In addition to translation, there's also some rotation tools. With this face selected, I can rotate it about this axis right here. And I can also scale geometry. I'll hold shift and select these three faces. And using this single line right here, I can scale this geometry about a single direction. Similar to translation, I can also scale in two directions at once using any of these manipulators here in the corner. And lastly, we can also perform a universal scale by clicking and holding on the center manipulator and dragging left or right to scale in or out. I'll drag to the left to scale in and I'll click OK. In addition to pushing and pulling on geometry, we can also add additional geometry. Under Modify, I'll choose Edit Form, and select this face. I can hold down the Alt key and perform a single direction translation to add geometry in that direction. To improve performance and also get a better understanding of the topology, I can turn my T-spine into box mode. To do this on the Mac, I'll hold Control and press 1. And on the PC, I can hold Alt and press 1. In box mode, I'll hold Alt again and drag up to add more geometry. And you can see that I can do this with faster performance. To return to smooth mode, I'll hold Control on the Mac or Alt on the PC and press 3. Those are some of the basics of editing T-spline forms within Fusion 360. So I can finish sculpting this by clicking Finish Form.